Lol, in case you're wondering what is happening in this video, these are some of the crazy meltdown after Donald Trump won. And these are some of the supporters of Kamal Harris uh, during the race. Now, I want you to listen to watch this video up to the end and see some of the ideas these people are coming up with after Kamala Harris lost in, th in this video. <laughs> If this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared. Like we're, we're scared for our lives. We're scared for our friends. How dare you put this man into office for another four years knowing damn well what it means for our country, what it means for us as a people. To know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country, it's so terrifying. <laughs> it's so terrifying. How the fuck are we back in this same situation again? Who the fuck is voting for him? Genuinely. Fuck you, I don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies. Live with that decision, sit with it. Let it make you uncomfortable. Fuck you. How did we get here? How did we get here? What in the Alice in Wonderland nightmares is going on right now? All I can say is how fucking dare you? If you voted for that man, if you voted for anybody other than Kamala and you live and you live in one of the states that it was, you know, close, or if you didn't vote, fuck you. Uh, go to the Senate race. It's not gonna happen. Go, go. I chose family. I chose women. I chose America. I love you. How the fuck is this still happening? All I've ever known politically is hatred. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and your mother and your sister. I'm just done with all of this. Today this country has proven to us that they hate women, people of color, LGBTQ plus members, everyone else more than they hate a literal felon. White women are some liars. Y'all didn't vote for Kamala. Y'all said that y'all would publicly and then behind closed doors voted for that man. You but how'd Trump get more votes than he got last time? Well, here's the answer. Because people like myself, independents or moderates, the Democrats gave us no choice. Hey, yo, to any black person that voted for Trump in this election, I just want you to know, if you experience any type of police brutality, racism, any of that, from now on, we don't care. Kamala Harris's rallies. However, how can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump. Honestly and wholeheartedly say that I have never in my life wanted to make a video less than this one right now. Donald Trump has officially won Pennsylvania, which means that somehow he has once again officially won the presidency. And I think the worst part is, is that I can't honestly say that I'm surprised in any way. I exist on the internet every single day. I see the way that these grown men and occasionally women act when they are behind the comfort of a keyboard. I see the hate that this world harbors towards women, towards LGBTQ+, towards people of color, towards everyone who is not this mold. Today this country has proven to us that they hate women, people of color, LGBTQ plus members, everyone else more than they hate a literal felon who has committed schmechual schmeschmalt. 
that is how much hatred they harbor for women. And I feel that things are not going to get better. This is not moving in the direction of things becoming better. They have won the presidency. They have won the Senate. And they will probably be winning the House. The GOP will have full control to pass and do whatever they want without being stopped. And we have seen what that means. We have seen their playbooks and their projects and their plans. I genuinely do believe that we are about to witness the downfall of an entire country. We have been actively witnessing it for some time. Yes, a lot of us acknowledge that. But I truly do think we're about to speed run it, essentially. And I'm in Minnesota. I'll probably be fine for a while. I can drive up to my friends in Canada. I can figure something out. But there are so many people here who cannot, who, who don't have plans or the option of a plan. And uh, they won't be okay. And I'm so worried for so many people. And I don't know what to do. I know you're going to ask me what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I tried so hard and I feel like I failed. I feel like we all failed. And I did everything I could and I don't, I, I don't know what I could have done better. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go now. It's gonna be, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this. Don't let my my breakdown panic you. We we always figure this out, and we're going to. We we just have to stick together, and stand strong. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I think you guys have ever actually seen me cry. And I feel this might be the first time I'm not going to cut it and try and refilm, because this is really what's happening now. All right, I'm about to go to bed. Call it. It's late, so this may be a little rambling. Donald Trump. Next president of the United States, barring a huge miracle, he just didn't win. He won for fun. He won the electoral. He won the popular vote. He got more votes than last time uh, he was president. Just a total ringing endorsement uh, for the Republicans and Donald Trump and an indictment against the Democrats. And that's really this rant. A lot of people are asking, like, how did Trump get more votes than he got last time? Well, here's the answer. Because people like myself, independents or moderates, the Democrats gave us no choice. The Democrats gave us no choice. That was the worst campaign and their pure arrogance and their moral superiority have driven people away. If you say you're voting for Trump, suddenly you're a Nazi, you're Hitler, you're garbage. Enough, enough. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's racists in the party, just like there's fucking crazy people and assholes and racists in, in the Democratic Party, all right? But millions and millions and millions and millions of people vote for Trump. He won clear, he won decisive. So when you call us that, and when you say that, you're calling the majority of country racist, Hitlers, Nazis. I don't think you get the words of what that means. You are alienating all this middle ground people by acting like you're better than us, smarter than us, and frankly, insulting our intelligence. Trump's the threat to democracy, that was the entire Democratic campaign. It wasn't about policy because everyone knew we want change. We're not how to happy with the borders, the Middle East, the economy, inflation. And Kamala, Kamala consistently said she was no different than Joe Biden, wouldn't do anything different than Joe Biden, last person in the room. Her pitch to the people was Trump is Hitler, Trump is bad, he's a dictator. Again, we're not stupid. The Democrats were the one who were saying Joe Biden was uh, mentally fit for two years when he was a vegetable and couldn't even make it off stage from giving a speech. And the Democrats would lie to our face and say the videos were edited, altered. They weren't. Then after the primary is over, they stage a coup, get rid of Joe, put in Kamala, and suddenly she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Same woman who ran for president got zero votes. Same woman who can't even a answer a question how she's different from Biden ran one of the worst campaigns I've ever seen. Just strictly her entire campaign was uh, was fear-mongering. What will Trump as a dictator be the end of democracy? It's garbage. It's garbage. The people pulling the strings in the Democratic Party, get rid of them. They've lost the plot. Tonight is on the Democrats. Congratulations, Donald Trump. I voted for him. 
And I felt I had no choice but to vote for him for the campaign that the Democrats ran. And it's not, not just white males, Hispanics, the black vote didn't come out for Kamala, Kamala like they did. Again, it was a ringing endorsement for the Republicans, Trump, ringing indictment against the Democrats. They got to look themselves in the mirror. This moral superiority complex they have, this arrogance they have, it's not working. And it's time to wake up and see that. You're alienating half the country, more of it. Wake up, move on. I am not holding back today if I hear anybody fucking celebrating Trump's victory in this fuck-ass presidential election. There is not shit to celebrate about more women fucking dying, the Department of Education getting defunded, and IEPs getting taken away. Not shit funny about families getting separated. Not shit funny about more queer kids dying and suffering because they can't get the gender-affirming care that they need, or queer people in general. There's not shit to fucking celebrate. And if you're like, oh, well, he's gonna, he's gonna lower my taxes and uh, it'll be cheaper to buy fucking groceries. Eh! Wrong, bitch. Fucking wrong. His fucking tariff plan will jump groceries up 20%. I thought y'all couldn't afford groceries as it is. So what are you gonna do then? His tax plan has been proven by economists, people that study the economy, people that have won Nobel Peace Prizes, for this shit have proven that his tax plan will only tank the economy just like it did fucking last time and y'all are fucking jumping around like stupid ass seals for what for fucking what if you voted independent if you didn't vote and if you voted trump fuck you from the bottom of my heart and i i hope you're happy with this stupid fucking outcome so donald trump won the election um he is now the 47th president of the united states and all I can say is that I'm just so disappointed and embarrassed. And I'm embarrassed because I wholeheartedly believed that Kamala was going to win. Matter of fact, I thought that she was going to win in a landslide. I thought that there was no way that they were going to let Donald Trump get back in office. And I'm disappointed more so in myself because I foolishly forgot about the fact that America hates women and they also hate black people. So I was stupid to think that they were gonna elect a black female president. This whole thing just felt like the biggest slap to the face because with this election and social media, I thought that everybody was voting for Kamala because that's what I was seeing. So obviously people were lying to us. And to all the black men and women who voted for Trump, why? Why would you go do that? Like Trump would not give you a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, so why would you go do that? Matter of fact, all POC all women why would you vote for trump he does not give a shit about y'all he does not give a shit about your bodies he does not give a shit about your rights he does not care about y'all and y'all this feels like we're in the end times seriously so y'all need to get prayed up because i'm thinking that god's gonna call us home because everything that's happening in the world right now is just straight up ridiculous. And I just want to end this by saying that i hope that the people that voted for trump are happy with the decision and i better not hear any complaining when we see what comes next hey yo to any black person that voted for trump in this election i just want you to know if you experience any type of police brutality or racism any of that from now on we don't care don't come to us we ain't helping you wanted this this is what you wanted you want your own ask those other white trump supporters to back you we won't be there. We will not be protesting for you. We will not be sharing your story. We gonna do what the white folk do and say you deserved it. I'm sorry. Hello guys, today I was arguing with my, one of my cousins uh, early in the morning before Trump uh, won uh, this election. Now I was talking about the uh, the issue about illusions. Well, you'll find that we, the 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 master chaser, the chaser, the game chaser, uh, in this uh, campaign usually gives two options, like either A or B. But the, at the end of the result, the voters or the person who planned for the uh, for this game usually won win. But this thing usually goes to the dice of the people who are on supporters. Like take a look of about the Trump and Kamala Harris. You'll find that either way, 
all the citizens in that country will lose and the master will benefit. I also heard about the script where they say that uh, we as Africans, we, we are usually given the script on how to govern our, 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 our countries. And this is also some of the things that I came up about and it is called the democracy where you are being given to vote for your best leaders. But at this point, you are usually given multiple choices. But in this case, you'll find that either way, you are going to become a loser. So this is just an encouragement to the United States by telling them, the person you voted for, you may think that is going to be the best person, but it, he is not going to be. At the same same time, whether if you would have voted for Kamala Harris to win, you will still not be the best person to be for to be in that seat. Now that's some of the ideas which I was trying to give about something called illustration of illusion. And this is also something that has been happening in Africa. For that case, I just want to congratulate our Trump, Donald Trump for winning this election. And guys, I also had some of the uh, comments which people are giving out in, throughout this video. Now I want to read for you some of the uh, comments which I had. Now someone said that, man, we need to change the mix of the water or meds or something. This is a serious issue. Funny at times, but still these people need le legit mental help. Normally functioning adults in any modern culture do not act this way. We got this whipped out as hardly back in my childhood. Here are also some of the savings. Still, all I'd like to say is my community is not new to this. We are true to this American disease of slavery. We had the idea that this will happen. We are going to continue doing what we have always done and protect our sex. And we advise everybody else who voted for Kamala, you might need to get ready to start sheltering in place again. Because who is to say that this idiot won't let another country into this uh, country? Because in my opinion, as a veteran, Covert was coming called warfare, but it just gone to show you disgusting underbully of this country is racist. Now watch your six move accordingly. Now I want to say that most of the Africans are really really happy about a uh, Trump uh, victory, and personally I'm also very very happy because we are somehow going to benefit when it comes to Bitcoin and when it comes to currencies. We are seeing uh, our currency is at least now stabilizing against the dollar. But this doesn't portray that uh, you you that Donald Trump is one of the best leaders. No, I'm just trying to say you that there are some of the benefits that Donald Trump is going to have. Remember, Donald Trump has never tolerated a war against the United States. So this means that. United States is safe and some of the f wars which Africans were facing, it is at least going to be cut down. So remember this is also a script. Remember this is a script. So let's wait and see what uh, is going to happen for the next four years. Otherwise, congratulations Donald Trump for winning this election. We really, really love this. Thanks.